Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another brand new episode of MLB The Show 24, new game of baseball here on YouTube.com slash Rex, where every day I post a baseball game at 6 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, so subscribe, ring the bell, you'll be notified when I post new videos. You can watch live on Twitch.tv slash Rex if you are so inclined. Uh, however you're watching, thank you so much for watching. Let's get into today's game. Anthony DiScolafani is 5-2 with a 3-4-5 ERA. Luis Castillo is 13-0 with a 1-1-1 ERA. It's been a low-scoring pitcher's duel of a series. 2-1 Mariners in Game 1, 2-0 Mariners Game 2. Now, we can't push them to negative 1. So I don't know how we improve. We could do, be a little bit better at the plate. Um, we are continuing to struggle. We're facing good pitching, which I think is helping. Kind of not like helping. Well, it's assisting in the the lower, the lowering of the leveling in the difficulty, hitting wise. Um, so we had them. Oh God, pardon me. We had we had Minnesota. The pitchers we saw against uh, Tampa Bay were very good. We're going to be facing Baltimore. We're going to be facing. Toronto, we're going to be facing San Diego, so it could maybe balance out or maybe just keep going lower. I'm not really sure, uh, but we'll, we'll be facing some good pitchers over the next week or so, or I guess into uh, kind of into the all-star break. We even do tend to struggle with Los Angeles a lot, who we'll see for seven games this month. But let's uh, let's see what happens today. We reverted our timeline to make sure that we still have Ty France because for some reason the computer was like, yes. Please trade Ty France for a worse left fielder when we don't need a left fielder. And if we were to trade Ty France, we do not have a true first baseman. Doesn't make any flipping sense. Open, clear skies. Here's our lineup. Here's what we're looking at. What we're working with. See, oh, that's uh, it's the pitcher. Oh, God, so many cold hitters. It's a right-handed pitcher. Julio Crawford... Polanco. Polanco's a switch. He has good contact against. I was. That's right. He has those really odd stats. Great power, but less contact, or less power but great contact, or at least good contact. Um. Rojas. France Hanniger. We could. You know, we could put Marlo in at right field. Put him at the bottom of the lineup flip the DH down, and then we can just kind of shift righty-lefty, righty-lefty. Uh, we don't really have a lefty that can go... I guess he could be, but he's not good against righties. I think we'll go with that. Marlowe's still hot, but I don't think it's going to stay that way. He hasn't, we haven't used him a ton. He had a couple of games where he had back to like two games back-to-back -back that had home runs. So we'll see. On the corner of Dave Niehaus Way and Edgar Martinez Drive, welcome to T-Mobile Park. Today, the finale of this three-game weekend set. It's the Minnesota Twins taking on the Seattle Mariners. 70 and 15, it's Alongside game 86, 50, 30, 51 and 33. Chami. So the Seattle Mariners have taken the first two oh games of this God, series. That and average, today they'll go for the that same. average is well, god-awful. Holy yeah, moly. The shaking hands on the field after each game so far. Played solid baseball to earn those We have wins, not played solid said, baseball. Do not lie to the people, commentator. It's own unique challenges, so we'll see what those are today. And you have those canned, extra motivation like, when you have an opportunity canned things that the game series. says. Right, They've been playing we'll be solid baseball. It's been incredible. It's like two one-run victories. Just about set to go now. And pitching in this game, Luis Castillo. Chris, his strikeout rate this year among the best <laughs> okay. all time. He's truly one of the elite strikeout pitchers in the league. I mean, strikeouts per nine off the charts. So the opposing team, off the they know they have to work cut out for him anytime they're facing this guy or a guy like this that's going to get the okay. swings and misses. Pretty much in a class of his own when it comes to that category. This is Willie Castro. The pitch. Fastball Ooh, in for a little strike. more inside and than I wanted. We, go this we got what we were looking for location wise in yesterday's game. Um, but Castillo, I think, has been a little more. I don't know if unpredictable is the right term, but it, it doesn't feel like we've been quite nailing the 
liked the spots that I've wanted. Pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. Chopper right side. France. Yes, Ty France. And he takes it himself for the out. Now the lineup for the Twins the is constructed the twins. by Rocco Baldelli. They're dealing with a top got a level triple arm left the mound, six, so this seven, to be a tough matchup for them. What's the key to the offense today, Singy? Oh, Boog, I think when you got a guy mm. that's this talented on the mound, you got to find yeah. ways to disrupt his rhythm, make him uncomfortable a little bit. The guys that can handle the bat and perhaps, you know, bunt, bunt for a base hit, get him moving off the mound. If you're in the box and he seems to be just in a flow, step out, mess up his timing, somehow try to get in his head a little bit. And then when he does come in the zone, you may only get one pitch. You better not miss it. That's the way. Just missed. And Singy, as a team, you need to make the most of the very few opportunities he's going to give you, right? Absolutely. And, and you went. know, if you don't get go? to guys Absolutely. Like this, a lot of times early, I saw that really from here. In, Come on. It's going to be the later innings that they hand that ball over to a reliever if they do at all. Just off the inside. We uh, definitely, in the later innings, we will hand two. the ball off to a reliever with if it's a, that triple lefty section. Six, seven, and eight right hitters. Side. Polanco tosses the first. Quick start to this afternoon's action. Two gone. The second baseman. Two outs, base is empty. Edward now Julien. The second baseman, Edward Julien. Edward Julien. And first offering is fouled off. Oh, it's a kind of like a silent O in there. Interesting. Okay. And the righty deals. That one's in. There we go. There's what we're looking for, Castillo. A nice spot tucked. Chases the there we go. The okay, that's what we're looking for. Nicely Down done, Castillo. So now the Mariners Let's do it eight more times, huh? For the first time, we've got no score. It's Major I don't League know Baseball if we show. have had that bad of a batting average in a series. It's been bad. It's definitely like there have been some like twos. And on the hill, Anthony D. Sclafani. What do you have D. Sclafani. He's had his ups and downs in his career as his ERA is just over four, but this is a guy that's not afraid. He's going to take the ball. He's going to go out there and give it his best. I would hope. I would hope that the pitcher that I choose to use would go out and... Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Sorry. Give it his best. Slider at 90, a sinker at 95, a four-seam at 95, circle change at 89, and a 12-6 curve at 84. The wind of the pitch. Swings That's through just that. too aggressive. One strike. We, were, we did a lot better at that early. That one off the mark. And one and one. one, one. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. The pitch. Good chase that time. I mean, that's a 3-1 count. Okay, I'll, I'll take it, I'll take it. So nice little knock into the outfield, five pitch at bat. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. J.P. Crawford up next for the Mariners. Ripped on a line to center. Dive in, gets down, put the extra bases. Here's Rodriguez trying to score. He will score and they take the lead. One nothing. Always feels good when you come through and get your team on the board first. There Just we a go. Very nice approach and swing right there to use the big part of the field. Everything was on time. He stayed balanced. I thought it was going to get dropped for a, or going to be a nice center. dive for an out, but. And now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Jorge Polanco. Can't get too excited here. Right Maybe down. We could have gotten shoot. a little more excited. And it's one. Crawford leads off second with nobody out. Ball that's one there. Okay. 12 6 curve. That's the one pitch that could probably give me some trouble. But I was going to say earlier, as I was reading those pitch count or the, the pitches and the speeds, there's not a ton of difference. 
It's about 10 miles an hour as like the toppest of top and the lowest of lows, with the exception of the 12-6 curve. That's the one that we really need to watch out for. That's it. My drive caught. And now we check out the Mariners lineup. Here's the Mariners lineup. Someone who makes things happen for them in part with his legs, Luke Rayleigh. And Boo, you and I were talking about him before the game. He's got good speed, and if you watch him in this game, he's that type of guy that's very smart. He doesn't have this just eye-popping speed, but he knows how to use it, and he's very intelligent on the base pass to get to the next base, to get around the bases, and ultimately score runs. Cal Rock okay, stands in now inside. and watches strike one. One out and a runner at second here in the third and final game of the series. Next offering in there for a strike. And that's strike two. Well, you can't expect to get a great pitch to hit with an open base and a runner on second. He's going to have to really tighten up his sights here. Make sure that he okay. can barely... I mean, it's, it's not the greatest of swings. It's pretty bad, but... Here's the 0-2. Okay. See if we can battle back into this count a little bit. Everything's been a sinker. That's down and in. A slider missed. Mm, got me got I mean, those first two pitches, you really don't expect to be right there. Back to back. Two strikes. Just put the ball in place somewhere, and you got a chance. Very frustrating for him, I'm sure. That's Let's see if the next guy can pick him up. Luke oh, yeah. Rayleigh at the plate with two away swings through that one, and that's off the inside edge, and that's ball one. Two outs and one in scoring position. Ball. A couple of those, both those sliders now, just a couple pitches away inside. And delivers outside. Ty France waits on deck. So now two on. Okay, I'll be honest, I hit A, but thankfully it didn't really register. The pitch count in this first inning. Lots of confidence from this team that's perhaps the hottest in baseball right now. So two down, and here's the first baseman, Ty France. Oof. And a foul ball. We're going to try and just let that 12-6 go. That's, I mean, that's the pitch you want to crush. Really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. Two outs. God dang it, slide way outside. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss. Get into that dugout and hit the reset button. First and second, two down. Swung on, looped into center, and it falls. Headed for the plate. He scores. It's two hey, nice there. job, Ty France. Nice job. The, the cool noodle comes through because at least we're able to drop it in there. Right on the edge. That's a good swing. I mean, it's not like easy to say good swing when there is a positive so result there. But we didn't Josh let the umpire Rojas. call us out. Up next for the Mariners. Oh. That's off the mark. One and oh. One and oh. I believe it was a two strike count. Ooh, that's not a good swing. It's going to be a strike either way. Left hand batter waits. Pitch misses. Good take. Two and one. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Drive. That's a base hit out of the left hold it second field. again. Third. France is just He'll a little score, too three. slow. Two consecutive base hits for this team. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull it's the ball, also the kind of pitcher that works beat, well for me. Right um, it, his third best pitch is a four-seam fastball, but a slider, a sinker, a circle Luis change, Urias and a 12-6 curve likely going to be buried. 
the mark there. One and it's one and oh. That clips the corner. That's fine. One ball, one strike. Right-hander kicks, deals. That's hard hit on the line. And a base hit. Flying around third is France. Throw is on the line, and he scores. And it's 4 nothing. Comes through with the RBI. Solid swing from Stark Having the two outs is actually kind of helpful right now because if it's caught, like, obviously it doesn't matter. It's the end of the inning, so it's not holding France at second. So two on with two away. Next to hit, Cade Marlowe. Just off the outside edge. And that is ball one. Line drive. That's a base hit. Coming home. He'll score easily. Now, we have had some funky and weird games against the Twins in the past. So a 5 nothing lead, as nice as that sounds, is not what we still be locked in, attentive. They are going to the bullpen in the first inning. We are able to chase them. My goodness. That's it for DeSclafani, and we'll be back with their first arm out of the pen after a quick break. On the mound now for the Twins, Brock Stewart. And he's been hit pretty hard at times this year, so he's looking for better. Right now, giving up more than a hit per inning. Everything, everything all right? Look like it kind of froze up there. We good? So up next, Julio Four seam at 100, Rodriguez. a sweeping curve at 88. Cutter at 98, sinker at 97, circle change at 90. That one know. almost got him. Fastball ball for a strike. And now it's even one and one. Carl, I think that pitch surprised all of us. Right down the middle, doesn't get a swing. Not very often you see a hit Oh, Sean, no. Like swing and a miss as that one was high. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. Next offering is downstairs. That's and three. down on strikes he goes. Okay. And this could be in. This could be a problem. Plenty of damage done. All in all, ten come to the plate. They bat around at five score. We'll head to inning number two at T-Mobile Park. It's the. And the Twins nothing. Top of the second. Now the Minnesota cleanup hitter, Byron Buxton. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports too. Five run lead after their first at bat. That is huge at this point, but you've got to keep the attitude to keep your foot on the gas. Don't let that team back in this oh, ball game. On. Cruise to the finish line, but do it with intention. I'm sure he likes the 5-0 lead and the run support, but he's sat around a lot since warming up in the pen, and you'd hate to see a guy not have his rhythm to go out there and have a great start. Steps on first for the out. Nice job, France. Nice read. Buxton is kind of... Ryan uh, Jeffers. Kind of my, like, ultimate... Pain in the butt. In his fifth season, he's so good in the field. He's so effective he's with the bat in this game. The in these games, I should say. Incorporating every season that we've done of these. The and we always face the Twins twice. We get a home and away series. So we, I think we usually get seven games against them. So he gets to just make my life miserable with incredible plays for seven games. Seven games this season. Unless, of course, he's out, which he was yesterday, so... This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. you got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. On the ground to third. The throw to first. And the Twins go one, two, three. 
Nothing doing here for the Twins. It's 5 nothing. Let's go, Mariner Moose. Hit it. Back at T-Mobile Park, Ladies bottom go. of the Good second. Up, the batter will be the shortstop, shortstop. J.P. Crawford. J.P. Crawford. Here comes a pitch. Oh, late on that late, fastball. Late. I guess you throw it that hard, you can get away with locations like that right down the middle. But I still think it's a dangerous pitch. Don't want to do it again. And that one is lifted in the air. Kepler brings it in with a nice running grab. The batter. The second baseman. Yeah, the batter okay. now. Jorge Polanco. Whoa, He's old for one. Here we go, Jorge, come on. That keeps the zone. That's fine. One, one. Mm -hmm. one out, base is empty. Sean Manaya records career strikeout 1,000. Congratulations on both that and. That one is absolutely belted. Bangs off the wall. Around first and Spelling your name correctly. Second. Okay, it's off line. Man, off that, that's one of those one of those balls that got out like a little too quickly for a guy that probably has a pretty good arm. Kind of hoping it would carry out to carry out of the park, but it's not quite. Who is that? Man? Oh, 68. Interesting. for the Mariners. Thought looking his first time up. It's an interesting thing where you look at it and you go like, man, we there were a couple of bats, not great at bats. We were still able to string some stuff together with two outs. Next offering misses down and away. Matthew Ross umpiring behind home plate for us in this one. He's got a reputation for having a bit of a wide strike zone, Chris. Yeah, no doubt, Boog. He rewards pitchers when they're working the edges and sometimes a little bit beyond that. So for the hitters... Just have to really be aware. Don't miss your pitch when you get it early in the count. That one misses. They're down three and one. One out, the runner at second. Bottom half of inning number two. And that's both oh, four. He yanked that one. That was a pretty easy pretty take easy right there. Right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to now think about. It. Left fielder. And now for Seattle, Luke Rayleigh. Now the good news is I don't think we'll have to deal with Stewart for a long time. Lifted in the air, right center field. Sizing this one up. Makes the catch. Runner tags it second. In there Ooh, safely. Wow. I am surprised that was safe. I am surprised. And now the first baseman, Ty France. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. And first offering is fouled off. Two on, two outs. That's the ball. And ball one. One ball, one strike. Ooh, this no. one popped up. Julian sizes this one up. Hauls it Damn. in to end the inning. No runs that that ride on the we head on now to the top of the third. It's ride the on the M's fastball. Five. I'm assuming yeah, the that that's uh, that's what got me. We're able to at least do a little bit of damage. I I, I think and we'll probably get another inning of this pitcher the third inning. before and they the finally twins. take him out. Max but we could have that weird Tampa Bay yeah, situation as well. If he's able to let those pitches so keep going and I'm not able to figure it out, then why not leave him out there? Inside. This is what I was talking about with Castillo a little bit earlier. Like we're making good pitches, but they're just they're drifting or they're sailing. Right through there that for a fastball strike. is not where I want that pitch. A little surprised that was 74% accuracy. That's okay. That's in the yellow. I don't think that should be an error. It, it was a good hit. It was a. It felt like, you know, extra effort. Yeah, a big swing and a miss. That one five degrees left. I can see it. Chop to first. France takes it himself. There to be him by an eyelash. 
That is one of the most frustrating situations in the game. I am yanking down on the fucking stick to try and get to this ball. And he just, oh, he just like lets it. He's, he's out by half a step. Like, come on. Farmer. So it's a good call. Just go for first. Oh, the offense oh. really struggled that time. I mean, it was awful. So I, I think picking up a run right here, that's going to get him going a little right. bit. Woo. That one catches the zone, and that is strike one. This one in the air center field. Rodriguez settles under it, makes the grab. That's out number two. I'm going to line a sink here with, so the batting order really? turns with over. Castillo. Really yeah. Castro, the next twin up to hit. That there one down the that line. That's the pitch and we're looking for just, just as far as our percentage and, and how, we're, how we're feeling about it. And that's too far inside. the inside oh, edge. Wait, one and one. Swings through that one for strike two. Well, at that velocity, if that's all you're seeing, 88, you can handle that all day long. That's what you get in batting practice. But off the velocity of the fastball, that is a very tough pitch to adjust to. Man on second, two down. Bounds it back with two strikes. Two-two. Fights it off, he'll see another. Steps off and bluffs a throw at second. Kepler stands at second with two gone. Damn it. Spoils that one and it Castro. remains two and two. No. Upstairs. Oh my god. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Good play appearance there. Able to take like, the Are you fucking serious? Jesus. Those are the same fucking at bats that we had in Tampa Bay. He swings and fouls one off. If you're going to be a championship type of ball club, you've got to hit with runners in scoring position. And after last night's struggles, I'm sure these guys are chomping at the bit to have this kind of opportunity here early in this game. That's the third out. God damn. That, like, that's what we're looking for. For God's sake. Still looking at that five nothing deficit. As we go to the last of the third, now it's the Mariners DH, Josh Rojas. And the right hater back to work. Now fly ball to right center. Buxton Darn. under it. And it there he the is. My and mortal in-game enemy, Byron Buxton. Make it a routine play. Just barely Ooh. missed it. You couldn't and drop that for me. Hit. Here's Luis Arias. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. Too aggressive Swings on the circle chain. One for strike one. One Meanwhile, do have activity in the bullpen. Steven Okert warming up for manager Rocco Baldelli. Hey, Rius! Hey, let's go, buddy! Let's go! Thank you so much for the solo shot. So yeah, at the bottom, you can see that there was a there's a trade. There's an interest in a trade for Vlad Guerrero Jr. At least if we had gotten a first baseman for Ty Francis, makes sense. It's pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. I appreciate the commentary it, team like thinks that I'm like, oh man, I saw that. I'm like, no. He now threw it over the middle and I was able to make contact. Singled in this game. All right, nice and slow here. 
First pitch and he just hey, that's misses. what we're looking for. That's a good take right there. Hell, if he, even if it's a strike one, it's a, a low strike. Not that big of a deal. Don't get too amped after the solo shot. Ooh, Straight got too amped after the solo shot. Oh, that's ball, cheddar, baby. Late with the swing there. Yeah, it might be hit. time to choke up a little bit. Get that front foot down early. Maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. Swing and a high fly ball to left. No, He's that got one stayed it, up. And there's two away. Just late on it. The center fielder, number it was a contact Here's swing. The Mariners leadoff man, Julio Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Singled and scored back in the first. He's one for two. And it finds its way through. By the way, that solo home run feels good. Obviously, it's good to get a home run, but we did all our damage with small little uh, inside. Like, we did all our damage with small ball plays, which is fine. Perfectly fine. Um, it feels good to get something going against the pitcher that they brought in that we're, we continue to struggle with. We just didn't Buxton get enough of that one. The play and it's out number three. Oh, but hey, Urias comes through. Now we had a couple better swings on some of those other pitches. Six, but nothing that's all right. Game. Six League runs, nine hits. We do have the error. The error. Man, I'd love to... I'd love to be able to afford one of your PCs. The and now text message alert that I signed Edward up for. Julian. Edward. Julian. But you don't accept game financing. And you look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time and even oh, shrink man. it down Four smaller. Pitch to pitch. Bad. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. The 0-1. And that's down it away. Well, these twins just lacking discipline at the plate in this ball game. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches they're chasing okay. outside of the Slow strike zone. Slow down. You can't do much of anything Slow with those down. locations, and that's been true again today. The wind and the pitch. This ball's chopped foul to the ground, ball. and foul ball. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that yeah, strike zone and beyond. Really, really and they just keep eating right out of your hand. The wind of the pitch. Fouled off again. Mm -hmm. And it remains. It is game two. three of the series. I do think that that plays a part in it. And the pitch. Gets a piece. I don't think alive. this game likes giving up sweeps. At times. And he walked him. Fuck. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Now a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to lay off some really close pitches and somehow but he found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Buxton in the box now. No balls and a strike. That's in for a strike at 95. We have done a good job of bouncing back Julian after the walks. First, nobody out. Hey. I don't love the walks. Well, I don't love the walks when it's like we just can't induce the swing. Be better at the plate right there. At least to foul something yeah. off, extend that at bat. Jeffers batting for the second it's time. Only one down, so we might want to try to work a little lower in the zone. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. On the ground left side, six, four, three. Ooh. It's a double play. And no, that'll do take it for that the double. Inning. So they make sure the double play. Of play. The it's the Mariners six and the Twins nothing. Back in Seattle, here's the second baseman, Jorge Polanco. The second baseman, Jorge Polanco. And a pitch. Just off the outside edge, ball one. Well, these Mariners really producing with runners on. It's been a right place, right time kind of game. Ooh, bad swing. They put a bunch of runs on the board, thanks in large part to four hits with runners in scoring position. One one. 
And well, another that's ball. Good. On top that's of a that, good take. They haven't left many runners on base, so they've been efficient getting runners on and finding ways to bring them home. No, Swing Polanco. Damn it. Stroke under it. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Now batting. Catcher. Cal. And the batter now. Cal Raleigh. First pitch misses. One and out. Base is empty one away. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. Foul. <laughs> One down, base is empty. Oh. And that's off Damn. the inside edge. Now two balls and a strike. And here it comes. That's Fouls one off. Two and two. The pitch. Swings and misses Fuck. with the breaking ball in the dirt. Just a gets to it on the first. God off the swing. Two away now after the drop third strike. Two yeah. outs, bases empty. Yeah, and yeah, stepping in for the Mariners, very early. Luke Rayleigh. Strike one. Come on. That one inside, and it's one and one. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. The one one is fouled off. Damn it. Righty to the plate. In the dirt. Yes, no gas left strikes. in the tank here. Two down, nobody on. Here in the third and final game of the series. And he got me with a circle change. And good work there as he gets uh, a one, two, three. Dang. Nobody left for Seattle. They lead it though, six zip. We're struggling a little bit here. Too aggressive with the swings. We got. We go to the top of the fifth. We got a lot of good contact earlier. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. And there's a ball. Walner measures six feet four inches. 26 years old. He's usually in right field, but today he's getting the DH treatment. Righty delivers. Bounce to third. Urias throws the first in time. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Good slider inside right there. Batter fighting to get there. Just rolled over it. Got the ground ball. Now batting Max Kepler. Fouled off left side. The Twins still looking for their first hit in this one. Next off, he's go. in for a strike. One down, base is empty. Hey, there we go. Failed on me a little bit, but hey, we're able to get a swing and miss. On that one. With that kind of velocity and elevated fastball, even if it's 19. still in the strike zone, Alex. can be tough for hitters to get on top of. Kirilov, oh, the next ah, to hit. Ah, ah, come on. Play around with him here. Right so there. Those and were the kinds point, of pitches we were hitting yesterday. Hitters, even if you give up a solo shot. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss, and that's We're lucky two. to get some swings on this Bell's stuff. Been locked down almost five full innings of shutout baseball. Close one Ooh. doesn't get the call. And it's two and two. The wide to kick the pitch. Still two and two. What the in the ball. fuck? The M's up big in this one, and we're at the top of the fifth. Foul ball, another 2-2 two -two upcoming. Two outs. Spoils Ooh. that one, and it remains 2-2. Two two. Come on, give me the swing and miss, Kirilov. God damn. The pitch. 
God. That was the first of like three, maybe four, that we threw up in the zone, that, that forcing fastball up in the zone like that, and that was the one that he didn't swing at. And it was the only one in the strike zone. The other two sailed just a little. We have left him in here with no energy left. And he deals. And that one pulled foul. Well, these Mariners putting together some really good at bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. It looked to me like they really wanted to get to the starter early, get him out of the game before he settles in. So I'd say mission accomplished. On the ground. Darn right to him. Very early on that. Gets it to first. One up, one down. Here's Josh Rojas. In the air out to right. Damn. They got it for out number Damn. two. Really didn't get much on that. For Seattle, Luis Urias. And he got this me. One in the air. Oh. Has this one way too up. easy. We made that way too and easy. The, the blinking you'll there. miss it bottom They're of the fifth. By a count of six to nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Start of the six, John Shambi with Chris Singleton. And leading off, Kyle Farmer. Swing there we go. The oh, sinker in the right. slider, excuse really me, in like the zone. Have been Buried in, in the corner. With their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider. Crawford whips it across. Yes. Now one gone in the top of the six. Okay, now we get to third time through the lineup. Shortstop, Willie. And now the Castro. shortstop, Willie Castro. Willie Castro saw a ton of pitches. Straight, move. Oh, and one. One down, base is empty. Strike two. No ball. He's straight. Got him looking. Okay, there we go. Castro saw double-digit pitches, I believe, in the last at bat. We're hoping to get him one, two, three. That is what we are looking looking for a little bit more. Doesn't have to be three pitches. Just not ten. To first, and it's a one-two-three inning. So he's through six. No hit. So we blink if you'll miss it. Top of the sixth, and both teams starting to get a little aggressive with the pitches in the zone. Just kind of on my side, it's a little more just aggressive in general. So we'll go bottom six here. Now for the bottom of the six, and there's a new and they do bring in a new pitcher. In the lefty with the lefty we have a couple of switches after this. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. And now for Seattle, Kate Marlowe, one for two. I apologize, I forgot Marlowe. Uh, Marlowe is the DH. And a pitch. That one lifted to left. Right. Margot makes the grab. One pitch and one out. Really nice job to get your first out of the ball game. Here's the Mariners' leadoff man, Julio Rodriguez. Oh, I don't up, swing at that. Rodriguez out Fuck, of the play. you made so much and progress in actually away. scoring runs Rodriguez. today, and you're just... God, I, everything about this was more... I was, I was fucking wrong about every piece of this. It was a 9-1-2, and even if it was 1-2-3, it still is two left. Fucking idiot. God damn it. Swing way too, way too early. Right there. Action in the pen down there. Jorge Alcala warming up for manager Rocco Baldelli. And strike two. Off of that. Okay, there we go. Finally a take. Can take a look at our bullpen situation. Uh, lefty, righty, righty. Okay, so we definitely want to get a lefty up. So Sato, we can go with Spire. We can go with Santos as well. Two. Two down, nobody on. 
I think we go with Castillo for at least the next three batters. To the right side. Hey, there we go. Through base hit. Multi-hit game for him now, and with the lack of results he's been having lately, I'm sure he's feeling some relief. Just one of those seen eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find the ball and get you a knock. Done. Two outs. There's a swing and a miss. Well, he just threw that fastball by oh, him, elevated, and if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Foul ball still 0-2. Oh, and now the lefty. Good job to fight that one off. Crawford off of first with two away. In the dirt, runner holds. Count goes to one and two. Okay. Just foul it off, no problem. At the belt and fires. Close one doesn't get the call. The count now two and two. <laughs> that was strike three. <laughs> <laughs> that was strike three. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. The pitch. Good eye right there. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Two on wow. and two outs. We did get a generous an ball in there, but still looked pretty good at bat. He was either fastballs up and out or sliders low and low and in. Now it's gonna be Cal Raleigh. Out towards right center field, sizing this one Just late on the fastball. Makes the play, and that's out number three. Top of inning number seven. And now for the Twins, the Edouard Julien. Edward Julien. Seems like the hitters are struggling with their timing today. Kind of caught in between that sharp fastball. Am I, did I misread there? Left, right, right. Okay. On the nasty slider. I'd like to see him settle on a consistent pitch. Oh, one there. Oh, come on. Come on. Another ball. Okay. There's a strike. Pretty hey. bad right here. He did the team thing, took until he got a strike. Now he's got to go to work, shorten up that swing a little bit, do whatever it takes to get on base. In there, base hit. And the bid for history is gone. He made a great run at it, Boog. I mean, he had their hitters off balance for the entire game up until this point. And maybe he didn't get all the way to 27 outs, but he deserves a lot of credit. Yeah, really fantastic effort. Gave us all a great show. And now we'll see what's left for him. Swing and a miss. What's left will be these next he was two. Out front that time. In the air, right field. Moving under it. Don't understand. Hauls it in for the out. I don't understand how I'm, uh, how I can be so inconsistent with Castillo. Brian Jeffers, the next twin up to hit. Hard ground ball, base now. Okay. That'll be it for in. Castillo. That's okay. Exactly hey, that's, that's all right. That's what we're looking for. Now that's what we're looking for. Hitter. You set up a plan, Matt and then you go in, you bullpen it, and you bring in a lefty. It's three straight lefties. Even if we give up a run, it's no big deal. He pitched incredibly well. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. 
Luis all Castillo good. All won't good. go any further. Only two hits allowed for him, so a great effort. And we'll be back after a quick break to tell you. I feel like I just have such a hard time dialing him in when there are runners on. This is a pretty low leverage appearance for him, so he should be fairly free and easy out there. Still have to keep yourself sharp and attack the strike zone. Try and run that one again. Fucking God, too slow. And yeah, the first offering is not. Oh, close. my God. Oh my god. Time. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. Runners at first and second with one gone. Here at the top half of inning number seven. Next off, I'm not sure the pitch for a strike. Two on, one out. There we go. There we go. It's a big strikeout right there. Nicely done. Dialed it in a little bit. We're gonna probably stay away from the uh, from the circle change. Many times, if you do, it's a foul ball, and you know a lot of pitchers they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Nice. Went by Polanco. Let's go. Let's go! Still up against a six, nothing deficit. That's what you're looking for. Hey, if we can get through the inning with uh, with Castillo, great, fantastic. We're if not, we get that lefty ready, and we are Alcala. able and to take a, He's been really good this take advantage of keeping the ball in the park. Number not 66. an easy guy to take deep. Jorge Alcala. Now the left fielder, Luke Rayleigh. Slider at 94, seam at 98, a circle change at 90, sinker at 97. Pitch. Really, for the love of fuck. Pitch is in there. That is strike two. I tapped it. I was looking for the check swing. Right handed reliever. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. Kicks and deals. Got him looking. Cool. And that's the first out. Well, he froze him with a great fastball right on the corner. It's kind of like bowling when you think the ball's going to get into the gutter and somehow it just hangs onto that edge and knocks down a pin. Well, he got the outside corner of the plate and got that called third strike. He's got it. There's two away. Stepping in, Josh Rojas. One for three. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Okay. So. Lefty righty switch. Come on, you can do it. Two down, nobody on. Here at the bottom of the seven. Oh, and he grounds one to the right side. It. Slides for the stop. Stop early and on it. Very nicely done for the out. Man, it's just if, as soon as I feel like we're trying to make or we're starting to get some progress or whatever, just nothing, just absolutely nothing. God dang. We go to the eighth, and now for the twins, Alex Kirilov. Alex Spire back to work. Spire, the lefty who lights up the radar gun. He features a sinker, a slider, a four seamer, and he works in a changeup. Outside corner, there's a strike. Right through there for a strike. Swings and misses 
plays on the fastball up in the zone. Ooh, Yankees the move it within out. half game. The Orioles. I wonder if we'll get a 163 this year. Pitches around the knees, and then you know, for a hitter, you get two strikes. You've been worked down there. It's hard for you to cover from top to bottom the strike zone. Excellent job of execution. Finish with that pitch high and got that hitter out. Just missed. Next offering in there. For Farmer is a switch hitter, but he's not as good against lefties. So, and that's in there at the knees. Base is empty, one away, and we're in the top of the eighth. That's maybe the nicest pitch we had thrown. There we go. Got him with that fastball. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, really? especially with two That's strikes, good. have to be ready to pull the trigger. Oh. Man, I've just been, I've been off. Oh, I've been wrong today because if we look at the lineup, uh, clearly Kyle Farmer is a true right-handed hitter and Willie Castro is the switch hitter that we're trying to take advantage, not take advantage of. That sounded really bad. That's not what I meant. Just, you know, statistically use our advantage. Not as good against the lefty, so he has pretty good contact. It's not a lot of power, so Look at a hopefully strike. we can avoid. Dedalio one in there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. Avoid anything too disastrous here. This to and that is what we are looking for. Slow roller, Urias in time. And the to twins France. Go one, two, three. And that is an out. Twins retired in short order. All right, excellent crotch shot. Down. Thank you so much. I appreciate the zoom in. <laughs> it bulge his out of the eighth, and Stepping in for the Mariners, Luis Urias. And the pitch. Sharp grounder that is through for a base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Now Urias doing some damage. The right fielder, number 19. Kate Marlowe up next for the Mariners. That clips the corner. Left hand hitter waits. Good eye in that spot. Urias gets his lead at first. Nobody out. No. Up foul territory behind no, the play. No, Jeffers no, no. Fuck. He makes the grab. And there's one away. Well, oh, that's a frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter right there. I mean, that pitch was right down the middle. I think he got a little too excited, came out of his mechanics, and instead of driving that ball somewhere, he popped it up. Oh. Unfortunate for him. Rodriguez. Go ahead and use Crash. Takes ball one. The pitch. Fastball for a strike. Back to back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. That's off the mark. Two balls and a strike. Right through there for a strike. Man at first, one away. Okay, hey, foul it off. Stay alive. strikes he goes two away well oh, just excellent location on that inside fastball really locked him up and it's a hitter it's not typically what you're looking for you're trying to protect away and then in so you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it'd be that's fine the ball, that's fine but either way that's a really nice pitch no. just missed
Left hand batter waits. And that one is lifted in the air. Buxton sizing it up. Damn it. And that'll end the inning. Uh, we had a perfect, perfect piece of contact. A couple of rough little strikeouts and then a little pop out. Uh, I don't, did I schedule Brash to come in? I do believe I did. We're I'll back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound. Matt Brash. 32nd appearance. Manuel Margot digs Manuel in Manuel Margot. And a pitch. That's a slider there for a strike. Nice slider. He's a bullpen arm that keeps the ball in the ballpark. But obviously, out of the bullpen, you're looking to limit home runs. Yeah, and that's why he's such a high leverage arm. Just doesn't matter for him. He looks at attacking his own and attacking hitters regardless of the situation. And the righty deals. Oof. That was a that was a bad pitch. Bad pitch. But we were able to figure it out. It's just a good day as a manager or as a pitching coach when you can hand the ball off to multiple arms and get stability from all of their performances. And now Edouard Julien, slider for a strike. Hit hard on the ground, is short. Offers. Nice out. So they're down to their final out. And next for Minnesota, Byron Buxton. Oof. That one finds Too fast the zone. on that one. The Twins with a lot of ground to make up here at the top of the ninth. There we go. Big slurp. And that will wrap up the series. A bit of an anticlimactic finale, which is kind of nice because we have played a few too many tight games recently. Um, yeah, this would be the, this would be the performance you'd want to build off of. I love the way we were able to get so many runs in the first inning. It started with that diving attempt that led to the first run, uh, turned into a Crawford double, and then we were just able to get singles to get runners in. We were able to pile up 11 hits, though a lot of those were in the first inning. We really slowed down after they took out their pitcher, their starting pitcher, who point, pitched .2 innings. So he'll get the loss with, uh, I believe, five earned on the line for him. We got the solo home run. That felt good. Here it is right here. And we were able to just kind of hold on to the lead. Some decent pitching. We did a good job coming up with a plan and sticking to it. Put some runners on with a couple of walks, a couple of uh, a couple of hits. But we're able to pick up a victory. Six nothing, five of the first, one in the third. Luis Castillo, 6.1 innings pitch with two hits, six strikeouts, two walks, no earned on his line. Anthony Disclafani, 0.2 innings pitch, six hits, one strikeout, one walk, five earned on his line. Arias was three for four with a home run, two ribbies, and a run. Crawford, two for five with a double, a ribby, a run. Polanco was one for three with a double. France, one for four with a ribby and a run. And a pretty good, like a pretty okay performance for the Mariners here in their, uh, in game three of a nine-game home stand. We'll have tomorrow off. We finish off June on a positive note with a sweep. And that is good. That's what we want to see. Uh, so there you have it. We'll advance the day. Actually, you know what we'll do is we'll save just in case. We'll probably have to do this save until we get through the trade deadline. Just in case anything absolutely wild goes on. Roster. Uh, never got it going during June. Struggling. 
to a .65 batting average. Oh boy, .065 batting average over 31 at bats. Uh, June was a rough month for. Eh, ooh, yeah. Blas Castano, 4.32 ERA and 8.1 while issuing four walks. Cole Tucker tore it up in June. There you go. That's what you want to hear. Posting a 3.25 average in 77 at bats, driving in seven. Brian Anderson had an outstanding month of June, 316 batting, driving in 19 over 76. And Jimmy Joyce posted a 230 ERA in June, punching out 24 batters in 31 innings of work. Okay. So, we'll advance the day because we have that day off. And the trade deadline, we, sur we survive with a weird trade deadline yet again. We're 71 and 15, which is a huge, a huge number. That is a massive, that is wild. Wild. Uh, the Orioles come in. They have 50 wins, 50 and 35. We got back-to-back 50-win -back teams here in uh, at home. We will have game one and two from T-Mobile Park. Game three will be a throwback game in, uh, in the Kingdom. And then we will face the Toronto Blue Jays, who are a little under 500. But Toronto is a team that uh, feels built to give me some trouble. And we have had trouble with them in the past. So... Big series coming up. We'll have another off day on the 8th, and then we'll be on the road for six in California, two against San Diego, who a team is a team that I feel like we have just had their number. I think there's a loss in there somewhere that I didn't realize, but it feels like San Diego is a team that we just play well against. And the Angels are a team that does kind of give you some trouble. We'll have the All-Star break June 14th. You'll be able to watch both the Home Run Derby and the All-Star game live on Twitch. If there's enough people in there, we can try and do some predictions, have some fun with it. If not, They'll go up. I'll watch it along with you, and we'll uh, we'll have some fun. We'll have some off-day content on the 1st, the 8th, the 17th, 18th, and 25th. What that is, I'm not really sure. If you'd like to see any of that, subscribe right where that, right where that gameplay is. Bam, right there. Ring the bell down below. Thanks so much for watching. You can watch more baseball here. You can check out this morning's video up here, which is Driver 2 Part Number 7. And boy, if you want to see me yell at a video game, that is the part for you. Thanks again for hanging out. I appreciate it. Have a great night. Go Mariners and good sports.